Oh my word, is that two in one day? <laughs> yeah. I'll make this a short live stream. I better, because some people can't handle it otherwise. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, uh. Nail biter, nail biter. What is she gonna say now? Guys, I want to tell you right now, I hadn't had the opportunity to really read a lot of your comments, your messages. If it's, is it windy? Now I'm out here, I just got done doing the hay. Uh, if it's windy, I apologize. I was hoping some cooler weather was going to blow in and we're going to get some rain this weekend, but I don't think we are now. I just finished the barn. I know it. I am, it's, it's crazy. Listen, um, I want to thank you. <laughs> I just got home. James, we were, we were at the uh, University of Tennessee uh, today. He had a big heart appointment. Everything is looking good. And uh, then we had swimming lessons earlier than that for Gabriel. So I haven't really been online a whole lot today. It's hard to do that when you're in, in route. Now, if, if it breaks up, I apologize to you. Sometimes when I do things outside here, it's weird. I know. Did you listen to the last one? I just want you to know that I did open up my emails and I just read a couple and some of y'all are so smart. Y'all are so good. Mm -hmm. I'm winking at you. I'm winking at you. No, that wind can come and blow, blow, baby, blow. Yes, I mean, it is, it's hot. Uh, but listen, listen, I am good. Y'all don't have to worry about me. You do not, mm -hmm, you do not have to worry about me. Y'all have got such wonderful hearts and such wonderful um, uh, intentions for others. And, and that's what things are really, really about. Okay. Um, I was talking really a lot in depth. James listened to my last live stream and he was laughing. I thought he might, you know, be like Patera. And he, did, he was just like, so, you know. We're going to be straight laced here and, uh, um, but from, from time to time, you know, you just have to, um, sometimes it's good to vent a little bit. You have to understand that a lot of times when you see things, people say something to you that it may be that that's like, there's been that they talk about one instance or two, um, but there might've been 99 before that. So, um, and I know that, uh, 99% of you get it. 99% of you get it. There's a couple. I, I don't, there's been a couple. I, I had to worry about you. I don't, I don't know what happened there, but you're gone now anyway, so it don't matter. But, um, guys, I, I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I don't, I'm going to just explain something and I don't owe this explanation to you and you don't really care, but I, I'm not one to sit around. Am I red? Hi, I'm just a redneck, Stacy. I just got done working my barn and tr truly, I just got done feeding everybody. And uh, I'm trying to figure out if tomorrow's my day to start milking again because mil Lovey's still in milk down there. But um, I'm up in the shade right now. But listen, uh, no, I haven't talked to Nana yet. I, I told you I've been, in, we were running around today. But listen, I want you to keep doing what you're doing. And I want you to be who you are. And I know that a lot of people out there, that in, in a, as James said, he said, they're telling you not to worry about it because they care about you. They, they tell you not to worry about this stuff because they, wor they worry about you. They don't want you getting sick. They you know, everybody, and I'm like, I know that. But at the end of the day, you have to understand that uh, I don't like bullies at all. And uh, your way of dealing with nonsense is not necessarily my way of dealing with nonsense. And by me being somebody other than who I am is not the reason why you're here. Okay? I married my husband because he's a certain way. He married me because I'm a certain way. You love somebody or something because they are a certain way. They don't have to be perfect, but you, so I mean this with a loving response. Don't ask me to be something I'm not, because I'm telling you right now, some of the times, some of the things that I respond to isn't necessarily about me anyway. Okay. My whole point here is, is I don't like to see people pushing on people for trying to do what they think is right. 
If it's not right for you, you don't have to be there. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not giving you some funny little voice. I'm not trying to, you know, pull your hair or make you mad. I'm telling you what I think, okay? Yeah, so you do you. Don't ask me to do somebody else, okay? I'm not HGTV, I'm not the Food Network. Uh, you know, I don't do what other channels do. Doesn't work for me. And what, what works for me is what I'm going to end up doing. That's why I'm doing a live stream right now. I thought about filming a video and then editing it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm cheating. I'm not, I'm just gonna do it live, say it live. Uh, and I'm gonna let it fly and I'm gonna have an ugly thumbnail you know, and, and I'm gonna move on with my uh, day because I've got other things I've got to do like you've got to do, okay? So I wanna thank you for being here and I wanna thank you for your encouragement and I wanna thank you for being nice to each other. We don't have to always agree. It's about being ugly and about trying to thump, push other people under your thumb. And uh, I don't like that. Whether it's me, <clears throat> whether it's somebody else, and sometimes you see it happening to people that you really don't know a whole lot about. Yeah, I'm not good with bullies. I'm not good with bullies at all. Like, no. James will. James can t not respond and say how stupid they are. And uh, I mean, he is the old. It, your advice in a lot of ways is James is like that's advice to me. I'm like I know it's not advice to me. Somebody's got to be a warrior sometime. You know, if, if the men that, if the over mountain men had been a bunch of uh, passive people, you know you and I right now wouldn't be having this conversation. History would have been a whole lot different. And some of you are like, who are the over mountain men? What is she talking? Crystal, who is she talking about? She's talking about some men from the mountains. Um, who is she talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Those Cherokee women didn't love those over mountain men just because. Just saying. Okay? So, you know, you just have to pick and choose who you're going to be and what you're going to stand up for. And here, it, he, I know, Bigfoot, he's here. He's, yes. Uh, what is that? That is not military. Oh, my gosh. Get ready. Okay. Before we run out of uh, diesel oil here in the next four to eight weeks, FedEx is headed to the Knoxville airport right now. You better get all your goodies from Amazon as quick as you can. Holy moly. You better start ordering your underwear and whatever else. That's FedEx right there. <laughs> it's not funny. See, some of us deal with trauma and drama with humor. Uh, some of us just get fire ant mad. Some of us, you know, have to go away. Yeah, all right. Yeah, them Cherokee women, <laughs> sure, oh girl, they love those over mountain men. Mm. Tell me all about it. Yeah. <laughs> so some days we have to joke. Um, you know, there's a lot of things to do right now. I know that. But <laughs> uh, FedEx, okay, yeah, yeah. You got to keep them tr trucks rolling, right? Yes. Yes. So some people, uh, most of you got my last video. Most of you. I mean, really, like 98%. There's a couple. But, you know, the thing, the people that didn't get it, um, the people that didn't get it uh, were people I've never seen before. So they're just probably like trolls, too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. So listen, I want you to stay busy with what you're doing. Um, I understand that today turned out a little bit better than we thought it would. Tomorrow we might not be so lucky, right? You know, honey, Fran, I, honey, I was born. I just University of Tennessee, baby. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So I just want to encourage you to keep being nice to people as best you can. I know it's very uh, tempers are very short with people right now. Duh, people are, are panicked right now. Yes. Um, I don't think that we need to be in a world of denying reality and things that we need to be doing. Um, and but we need to, we need to be more courageous people uh, in helping each other. Okay. If, if if at the end of the day, if the worst thing that I ever do is encourage people to buy too much spam, well, okay, that's the worst thing I ever did. Okay, right. Somebody was asking me earlier, they were talking about how people they know are not, uh, you know, what, what do I do? What do I do? I'm like, you keep doing what you're doing. You keep talking. 
You may be the only person that somebody you know is actually talking about this stuff with them. People, people's heads are in the are totally, totally in the sand. And I don't think it's because they don't realize that things are happening. It's because they don't want to face that things are happening, okay? And uh, so you know that, you know that. And you know, it's gonna be, a, it's, it's, a, it's a real huge day um, when people wake up and they will remember you and they'll know who told them. And it's not an I told you so moment. It's a, a moment of you're being put into situations with people so that you can do these things. God didn't show me what this other person was saying about me yesterday. It, it, it's for a reason. Do you hear me? You hear me? You hear me? God opens your eyes to things to teach you a lesson, to make you aware, and to make you think. And sometimes it's not just because of to, sh to, to make change your direction, but it's maybe giving you courage to speak to help someone else. So yeah, uh, I don't like bullies. And uh, I get a lot of emails from young people, women, men and women, young, young people. And uh, you know, I'm no one special, but you know, when, when you get a couple of emails or messages from time to time about somebody thanking you for giving them the courage to do what they're doing, that kind of comes as a personal responsibility. I try, sometimes I come at it with a little bit of fire. Sometimes I come at it with a little bit of humor, but I'm gonna come at it because that's what I feel like I'm supposed to do. And I didn't get up today going, I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna light it up. I got out and I started working my gardens. This is what happened. I actually filmed a video this morning. I don't know if I'll have a chance, I'll, I'll put, I, mean, I can put it up. It's, it's kind of talking about the same stuff and some of y'all don't like that. <laughs> but uh, I, I did an entire, I thought, well, I'll make a video on it. And the more that I pulled squash and onions out of my garden, the matter I got, the more convicted I felt. And I was like, I'm, I'm, we're, we're just gonna go for it. So somebody needs that today. Somebody needs that today. So, you know, and so instead of, you know, being hellfire and complete brimstone, I'm sorry, I think, I think some people are acting like some some uh, babies. Yeah, it's my it's because I'm up in here. I'm up in the up here. It's, that's why it's, it's a little bit blurry. It's the sunlight and the heat and everything. So it's like this. You be you guys. You you have the courage to be who you are and what you are. Don't let somebody try to don't let anybody stomp out your fire. Because at the rate we're going, we ain't gonna have anything to light any, light any more fire. I mean, you better know how to have some over mountain man skills to light some fires <laughs> soon. Don't let anybody try to put you out, okay? That's what I wanna tell you. And I wanna thank you for your emails and all of your kind comments. And like I said, whoo, there's a couple of you that are super smart. See, this is the thing, is I know that people see people's behaviors. I don't go out cruising for, I told James in the car, I said, I don't go out cruising for bruisings. I said, when do I go out and try to fight people? I said, I just don't want to be stepped on and I don't like watching other people potentially get stepped on. So that's all I'm saying. You got, you're going to have to be tough. We're going to have to be tough. Going to have to be tough. Yes. Oh, Jeb, you love Jeb. Uh, Jeb's pretty cute. Jeb's a good guy, y'all. Jeb's a good guy. Jeb's a good guy. I will tell you this and I'm going to go. So yeah, so I told James, I said, the day that my daddy... Y'all heard that story. Came home. I, I had a I had a bully in school. I had a I had I had I had a set of bullies. I did. It was a sister and her older sister. Mean as you talk about mean. They pulled my hair on the bus and threatened to beat me up and did all sorts of stuff. Right. The the, the girl my age would get her older sister. To, She'd say things, and if you responded, then she'd get her older sister to come and basically try to beat you up, right? I lived with that crap for several years. 
And I remember when I had to ride the high school bus then with the big sister, it got really intense. And she didn't just do it to me. It was, it was a lot of other people too. I mean, this, this girl's problematic all around. And um, I got to the point where I was like, I'm not riding the school bus. And it, you know, I was, I was crying, honey. You, you heard that baby voice this morning? I was. Because I didn't want to get in trouble and I didn't want to get in a fight and all that stuff. And my daddy said, I said this in a video several months ago. My dad said, get your butt out in the yard. And I was like, what? What? He did. We had one little tree out in the front yard where we lived. I remember this really well. Our house was brown. And he said, get out in the yard. And I was like, what for? And he said, I'm going to teach you how to break somebody's nose. Sure did. He said, get outside. He said, I'm not going to the school. And, I, and I, we're not doing any of this nonsense. I'm like, well, daddy. You know, I started crying and, oh my, go have an anxiety. You talk about anxiety attack. Totally freaking out. And he said, if you don't learn to stand up for yourself today, you will never stand up for yourself. He said, if you, he said, the next time she gets up on you or she breathes in your direction, she puts her finger on you. He said, you, he said, you, I'm telling you right now, you're going to break her nose. And I was like, okay, so right, little Miss Pris here, no, what's that? Yeah, no. And he said, if you don't break her nose, you're going to have me to deal with. He, I don't care about the principal. I don't care about the school bus. I don't, that's not, we ain't worried about that here. I'm going to teach you how to break her. My dad taught me how to break noses that day. So, fact, 100, smack in the kisser, baby. Long story short, as I told James and I've told you on a video, I think that was a, a huge life-changing moment for me because my dad's like, I'm not coming to the school. I'm not get, pulling you off the bus. We're not playing these games. He's like, uh-uh, 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 no, 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 no. You're going to break her nose. So I, I'm, I'm not going to apologize for that, but um, that's kind of probably where that comes from. Because when you have that moment of you have the permission to take up for yourself from the most important people in your life, you're, you are encouraged to take up for yourself and to take up for what you believe in, to take up for your family, to take up for your, what's yours. Uh, you, don't ever, you don't ever give that up, okay? Yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to be bullied. And, uh, and, and I'm not going to stand around and watch other people get bullied. I don't know of everything that goes on, but I feel like God put some things in front of my eyeballs. And if you think I'm talking about one channel, you are wrong. I don't mean that ugly, because some of y'all are like, I think she's, y'all are like, I, I'm like, no, no. I'm not going to get into the thickness of it. People know what they do and what they don't do. And um, they can deal with themselves. Um, and, uh, you know, some of this stuff, the, the, the interesting thing is, is I don't go and look for this stuff. You all are sending it to me. Yeah. So here's, here's the point. It's really crappy to have a YouTube channel or to be an influencer or anything. And the people that are watching you are running and tattletelling on you. <sighs> Yeah, I didn't say anything today that I that I wouldn't tell it to anybody's face. I'm telling everybody right now, go and subscribe to every channel out there and make your own decisions on where you want to be. If I'm not where you want to be, then go on with it. You got to do that as an adult on your own, okay? All right? I don't care what you watch. I mean, some of you today decided you didn't like me anymore because I was doing a baby talk video. Okay. If you're that weak, go on with it. If you want to erase me and everything that I stand for and what I talk about because I made a silly live stream, you weren't, you're not meant to be here. We're not meant to be together. It's not working out. We need to break up. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, y'all want to know if I broke her nose, don't you? Maybe. <laughs> I can break your nose. Yeah, I know. See, here's the problem now. I took way too much. <clears throat> I'm kind of like Conair now. I can't. I got to be careful. 
<laughs> They're like, what is she talking about? Is she getting a mullet? What? Jeb, Jeb. But Tara talked about like Con Air. Isn't that that movie with Nicolas Cage in it? Does that mean Patera's getting a mullet? I know she likes Morgan Wallen. Jeb. <laughs> you know about Con Air in the movie? Yeah, there's a lot of liability when you have a lot of skills. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just saying for all of these other channels that are now like going, who is she talking about? If if you haven't done that to other people, then I'm not talking about you. And if you haven't done it to me recently, then I'm not talking about you either. You have nothing to worry about. And I hope everybody comes and subscribes to your channel and you are encouraging people to be, I love that movie too, Tammy. You know it, crazy. Uh, you know, everybody's nice to each other and encouraging each other and you're making a million dollars on monetization. That's my prayer tonight. Dear Jesus, dear Lord, thank you. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I hope every YouTuber makes a million dollars on monetization this month. And then they give 10% to you and they give 10% to the babies. And they, you know, they give 10% to the local veterans and they give another 10%. And then by the time that's all said and done, they go pay off their house. Woo! Tell me about it, baby. <laughs> so you follow who you need to follow. You do what you feel you need to do. I don't care. I'm here. I'm going to work what I work and you work what you work. Okay? Come on. Who's that little person up there? I, I, your, your comments are scrolling. And I know somebody told me that, Tara, if you go and do this before your live stream, your comments won't scroll as fast. I didn't do that. Okay? I've been, out, I've been in, in the flies observing teats. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't have... I'm, I'm, yeah. Am I getting a mullet? Do you think I should? I don't know. You never know. I'm not. I'm going to let my scraggly hair grow down to my kneecaps. I'm going to look like Kid Rock before it's all said and done. I'm protesting haircuts. <laughs> I'm going to let it grow. Yes, I am. Yes, I, I'm just going to let it grow. I'm a, I'm a, I, yes, you're not going to. Next time you get on a live stream, you're not going to know if it's Kid Rock or Patera. What's, what's, that, what's that hot mess all about? <laughs> Washing my cows. I took some, James filmed me not too long ago. Yeah, I do it in the mornings. It's too hot in the afternoon, although Lovey likes to be sprayed a little bit. I'm not getting no mullet. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. It is cute when you get a fresh haircut, though, because it does feel nice in the... I, I think I had a mullet in first grade, though. I think I really did. I need to find that school picture. I think we all we all had a mullet in 1983. So don't, I, you know, or bangs like this. Did your bangs do that? You know they did. Well, listen, I'm going to go feed my family. And I was thinking about you. And this whole thing today uh, has been on my mind. And I just want to thank you when I started opening up the gajillion. E Please be patient with me on the emails. Y'all are amazing, uh, and uh, please be patient with me. And uh, we, uh, I've got more happenings coming your way. The thing, things are happening so much now that um, it is so hard to. I mean, I, can, I I love these people that are making a lot of videos every day. They're doing a great job, and um, Southern Prepper One is doing a great job. Uh, Pinball is doing a great job, and uh, you, you better have some. You think you have to have thick skin with me? Psh. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's why I love those channels. That's why I love those channels. I do. Because, you know, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like when I go to church, y'all may go to church differently than I go to church. I, I, we, I, I, want, I, I, I like it tore up on Sundays. So That's why I'm like, if I'm going to be listening to something, I want you to tear it up. Let's go. Let's do it. We got our granny panties on today. Let's go for it. You know it? Yes. Tear it up. <laughs> We need a lot. We need a lot of tearing up. We need some. We need a bunch of people grabbed by their arm and whipped in a circle. Is what we need. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a blessed night. Enjoy your family. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, pinball. <laughs> I'm not gonna say where. I'll, I'll tell you this. I laughed. I'm not because he, he'll know. Um, but <laughs> he he lives north of me, y'all, and. Uh, well, I guess you could look at his P.O. box and get kind of a, a gist, I guess, in the area up, at, up yonder where he's at. But it's so funny because I'm like, yes, I know all those places. My husband is from Claiborne County. And if you're from right on the border of Kentucky, then you're going to be like, 
James is from, James is from Claiborne County? He talks like this. I know. <laughs> He's a faker. He's a faker. <laughs> faker. You're a faker. Don't, don't act all East Tennessee and stuff, James. You're a faker. You're a faker. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, go feed your babies. Have a great night. Yeah. Yeah, don't... You can palm strike them, too. You don't have to just come in with a... You don't have to come in like Popeye. Keep Make sure that thumb's on the outside now, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can take them out right there. You can twist them around and take them down and break it all in half right there if you want to. <laughs> I, I better not discuss what I know. <laughs> I won't have a YouTube channel. Yeah! Yeah! I, is James related to Jeb? He might be. You never know. You never know. Y'all stay true to yourselves out there. Keep doing what you're doing. Go, go enjoy every single homesteading, channel prepper, preparedness, all of them. And you tell them I sent you. Every single one of them. Male or female. Yeah. Do it all. Them ladies know what they're talking about. Yeah. Completely. I can't see your comments for now for sure. I'm going to get over here in the clover. Do what? <laughs> I haven't seen if there's a monkey works today. I have not really been able to see anything. Well, I've been running around so much. So I don't know if monkey works has got a new one up or not. I haven't looked at that. Uh, I haven't really watched any videos today. Yeah, I appreciate you. Yes. Um, I'll tell you what, you people over there from the UK, I love you guys. You, I, I'm telling you what, I have got a huge fo building following from the UK and from um, um, Ireland. See, they recognize a mean person when they see one. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked me yesterday, this little guy, young guy, sweet as can be. He's from, uh, he is um, from Puerto Rico. And we were talking, he was talking to me and he was talking. And I was like, do you talk to every girl with that accent? And he just sort of looked at me. He said, yes. I said, I know, I know, I know, I know what you're doing. I know your game. I know what's up with that. And he said, you're Irish, aren't you? <laughs> I was like, a little bit. <laughs> I said, can you see the meanness coming out? What do you, what, what do you see? What do you see? <laughs> what do you see there? What, what, what are you feeling? <laughs> he was sweet. He was sweet. All right, guys. I love it. Hey, this, we're going to be the channel of drama, okay? Okay? We're going to be the drama llama. <laughs> there, listen, you know as well as I do, this area, well, we do have Irish in us, obviously, but uh, this area is predominantly um, Scots-Irish, which are, is basically Scottish people. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I do. I've got these folks from Scotland and Ireland and the UK, and they're like, I'm like, well, y'all just come on over. Just come on over. Come on. That's what built this part of the world, y'all. <laughs> it is. It is. We weren't going to be pushed around by a bunch of red coats. See how that worked out? <laughs> See what happens when you push on certain people too much. See what happens. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Look at y'all. Everybody. Uh, yeah. Yes, look at y'all. I'm this, I'm that. It's good. You should know what you are and you should celebrate that. And there's a reason, you know, you're finding a lot about, you're finding out a lot about you these days, which is, you know, I've always kind of been, wanted you to read between the lines of uh, learning your heritage. You find out really who you are when you find out who your great, great, great grandparents were and their story. Because you may be repeating it. Just saying. All right, guys. Love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for the emails and the support. Thank you for being adults and for understanding. <laughs> Don't be.
be scared. Get prepared. We're going to do all right. All right? I love you. We'll see you on the next video. I'll try to get one up tonight or tomorrow, okay? Come on, wind. How do I end this thing? I think I clicked the X up here. Is that right? Hey, yeah. I've had my nose broken. I already know. I do. I already had my nose. I had my whole face broken. I did. That cow down there broke my face. I got my face broken in Krav Maga, and I got my face broken by a cow. <laughs> true, true story. Yeah. Oh, and I got my face hit, slapped around really hard by, did I tell you about the story? I'll tell you, okay, I'll tell you one more story. So when I was training for my black belt in Israeli Krav Maga, you have to take tests, right? For those of you that have done that. So it's a three and a half year program. And you have to do all this different, all these different uh, testing. It's, it's, it's te belt testing. And I was going for my red belt. So I was, get, I was getting close. And they put me in, they put me in the dojo with a guy. <clears throat> now, clearly, if I'm in, in I'm going to be sparring with a six foot one dude. And, you know, I'm five, four and a half. He's got the, you know, clearly, he's got the upper hand, right? I mean, let's be honest. Let's not lie. And, you know, you're taught to, to, to show what you know, in a sense, in a way that you're not injuring your partner. You know, you're not supposed to just clock them out. You're supposed to, you know, go through the motions, but you stop at the pop, right? <clears throat> well, this boy, I don't know what his problem was. I, I don't know if he just, I don't know if, if I don't know, right? Yeah, Krav Macau, uh, Mucau, that too. But listen, so, she, so we were in there and we were going, he popped me really, he popped me. I'd already, I've already got a fra I had a fracture here, so I was a little bit worried. Now, I did have my mouth guard in, and you, you have all, he kept popping me in the face. And um, he popped me, and I was like, I shook it off, you know, I'm like, okay, okay, and I kept going, we kept going, you know, and I'm like, I can keep up, you know, I can show out, whatever, I'm gonna get my belt, you know, all that crap. And um, he did it again. Now, one time is an accident. Second time isn't. Yeah, maybe he's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> And he did it again. Well, I started getting a little mad, and, and uh, because that is uh, that's a no no. That's a no no. That's a no no. That's a no no. That's disrespect, really. The third time he did it, we, I mean, we had all kinds of mostly men all around. You they you get evaluated, and they people watch and all that. And I took I just I took my gloves off, y'all, and I threw them down. I did this in front of my children. You can ask my children. All three of my boys watched their mama do this. True story. I took my mouth guard out. I said, buddy, I don't know what your deal is. But the next time you hit me in the face, I'm going to tear your crotch out. And I, I just let him try to absorb that for a minute. And the whole, I did, I, I, you can ask my kids. I did that in front of all three of my sons. Sure did. James wasn't there, thank God, because he got mad when he learned about it. But yeah, so, you know, you can stand around and be nice and be popped around a couple of times. And then after, you know, after a while, it's just like, you know what? Okay, if we're going to do this, then we're going to do it. Do you have a cup in today, sir? <sighs> Might want to think about going and putting it on. That's how we roll around here. Girls, guys, don't be pushed around. Yeah, he had to absorb that. It, the, I, he did. You know what? It, 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 the whole time that I had to finish fighting with him after that, it was like fighting a, a little kitten. He was so nice. Right? He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. He was showing out. He thought it was funny. He thought it was cute. So take up for yourself. And help those that do not know how to take up for themselves, teach them how. I love you. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Every man on this live stream right now is like, oh. Uh. True. You could ask all three of my sons. They will tell you the truth. That's the day that, that's the night the lights went out in the dojo. <laughs> I guess he'll think again next time he pops a woman upside the head, won't he? I did my job that day. Yeah, you better run, Jeb. Guys, love you. We'll see you on the next video. Fair is fair. Bye.